Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to quickly show you how to put on a new background, maybe a more interesting sky, into a picture that you have taken. So here is a very boring uh, picture of nothing very interesting. This is the photo and the sky is very, very dull, it's overcast. Well, I've actually photographed it so it is overcast. Uh, what you want to do is you want to go up here and click this thing called the fuzzy brush or the fuzzy selector tool and that pretty much chooses everything which is roughly the same thing. Or the other one you can quite simply do is choose the one which chooses it all by colour. And again, because it's all, it's all the white stuff, however what happens is then that starts choosing everything which is the same colour, which is a bit pain in the butt. So I would say stay with the fuzzy selector because it's all the one continuous area. Uh, now you'll notice here that uh, cool, that's just gone right over the buildings just as I had hoped. If I'd fuzzied it a bit too much, you see it starts taking away bits of this. So you just need to be careful uh, which bits you select. And there, I'm happy with that. Now, what I want to do is I want to not have that bit selected. I want to have the rest of it and I want to make that a new layer. So what to do is go up and go to uh, select Invert and then click Float. So now, what you've got over here is... And then uh, over here you've got this floating selection area. And if you click selection, what we'll see is now this area is the bit which has been floated above. Uh, now, what I want to do is I bring in a new photo, which I'm going to have as the background there. So I go to open. No, no, I don't. I go to file, open as layer. And I'll find another photo, which I've taken here. And I'll go open. Now this photo is obviously on top. We don't want that. We're going to bring that down. However, this photo, although it has a nice sky, it's also got a big pile on there. So simply, uh, let's just scale this photo up a little bit and bring zoom, zoom. That should be more, more than enough. Okay, just click enter for that to render that. And then I'm just going to move the image, the, the layer which is below, on top. So just by moving that. And bingo, now we've got slightly unrealistic, uh, but uh, you can play around with the effects afterwards. Um, you've got this building here and the background with a dramatic sky. Probably not the sky I'm going to use in there, but if I, what, if I were to do anything with this, I'd probably just go to colours. Let's go to hue and saturation, click on the blue and just maybe lightness up a touch, saturation down a touch. That looks a little bit more realistic uh, there. So I'll just click that, click that's OK, and then uh, what I'll do is I shall right click on all, go to flatten image, so that's it there, and then just a simple right click and uh, export, oh no, file, save as, uh, DOMS, DOMS, cool, image. Obviously you can spend a lot more time tweaking bits and making sure that it selects exactly the right parts, but otherwise that's how I'm doing this. There you go. Hope that helps. Cheers. Bye-bye.